Welcome back, everyone. This is Eric Fallon playing Magical Bringer Corona the movie. Last time, everyone decided to do some investigation to try and figure out what happened to Noel. Corona specifically was tasked with talking to Levia to see if she could do some incorrect inquiries, maybe establish an alibi. But Levia was nowhere to be found until she appeared on top of the castle. Pillars of Torquage and precious even in the demon realm run along the corridor. Next up is the golden gleaming banquet hall. There's not often any sign of activity in this place made for special events, but today there's an unusual draft. A large window pane with glass. There's a door on the right end, the rooftop. The entrance to the roof balcony was open, and a cool breeze blow in. Flip, flap, flip. The well polished floor makes noises every time my sandals touch it. When there's an event, I'm sure they must have dances in here. I can't dance, but I bet it'd be fun. Yuka Chan and Rhyme San smiling, Kron San and Yo San watching from a step's distance away. Maybe Seabird Chan with a distressed look as the demon laying by her side invites her to dance together. And in the middle of all the bustle, Noa Chen, calmly nodding, satisfied. She. What happened to her? I. What should I do? Here we have another new location. A strong wind streamed through my hair and made my clothing flutter. I just look upon a single point, paying no regard to such things. A balcony built outside the banquet hall on the roof of the floor below. There stands a still woman in a black dress, the ruler of the great deep, the demon lord of the abyss, Leviathan. Livia-san! Corona-san. Our voices crossed at practically the same time, calling to each other. I called Levia-san's name, as I first did after we met in the demon realm. Levia-san called my name, as she first did on the twilight terrace. Your sword, need you not ready it? That won't be necessary. I'm here to talk to you. Well, well. How amiable. Could you tell me? What happened to Lao Chen? And what's going on now? Cease your misguided investigation. Were you not so told by the maid? You would surely regret knowing. Next to regretting knowing nothing and not being able to do anything? I'd really rather regret knowing! In that case, Know and regret, hero of the Black Demon Sword. Noelle's slumber is of her own will. Her own will? Then Noelle wasn't taken down? Noelle has merely received, merely received the revelation of the cosmos. Revelation? Yes, a revelation sent to order the carrying out of the calling of a demon lord. Absolute destruction. When Noel awakens, she must surely carry out that calling. Sinful creatures infesting the land. The humans are all to be purged. Huh? Wh what? Quite literally, their eradication. Without trace, no rebirth allowed. Man, woman, old, young, eastern, western, every last human in the world gone. Uh, hold on a second. Why this all of a sudden? And anyway, no one should, couldn't do it. Wiping out everyone? With the massive supply of magic energy and me to aid, it is feasible. Obviously, you... Why? Why would you suddenly say this? You were smiling until this morning. This morning, that light changed all. Belzebeth 
and I, Demon Lord Leviathan, were chosen by the cosmos to receive the revelation. Yes, that light came also upon me. You both chosen? Yes, much as you were chosen to be the hero of the demon sword, Noel and I were chosen to be the envoys of destruction, and we must obey that revelation. The demonic are not free to choose, to tempt man, to slay man, to devour man, to destroy man. It is their duty. However, they strive to clasp warmth, their cold hands will yet freeze all, destroy all things, take all lives. If this time had come sooner, for me, by five more days, for Noel, by another month, we could have fulfilled our calling with cold, unfeeling hearts. But you're going along with this? Obviously, and you said you believe in humans and the ocean. We must obey. Even should a demon lord love man, if the cosmos say to destroy man, we must obey. Behold. There's that comet again. Chekhov's gun strikes. The sun! A cometary eclipse. The signal from the cosmos for destruction. Cosmos? You keep going, cosmos, cosmos? What do you mean, cosmos? Have you ever heard it said that the Earth is alive? In point of fact, it truly is. Yet it is but part of a profoundly larger body. Yes, you might say that the Earth, that the planets, are like organs. God, Creator, whatever names may be given, it indeed has will and lives. This being we call Cosmos. The Cosmos are alive? God made the heavens and the earth and said, Let there be light. I heard the world started like that. But that God is the very Cosmos? So, in other words, we're living inside God's belly? Organs were simply a metaphor. The structure of the cosmos is beyond our knowing. But that they have willed and made this planet with love is certain. The Earth is now diseased by humanity, but single species. Thousands of other species have been destroyed, and all from the skies to the depths polluted. Thus, to restore its beauty, purge, the scourge of humanity, utterly. We, to be the agents, agents of God created to destroy and purify all. Every last one? Then me too? A good question. You three are not impure. The innocent, the devoted, the wise. Perhaps the three most beautiful of all human souls are gathered here. In the time of the Great Flood, an ark was prepared and salvation given. And this time, you are here. In being here, you may be saved. 
Noel loved you and invited you to the Demon Realm. The whole process preparing for the time of judgment. All in the destiny the cosmos have woven. What must happen has done so. Preparation? What must happen has? Me summoning the demon sword, Nohachan setting her sights on it, fighting Yuasan and Kromsang, getting beat up, and finally nothing together? Yuka-chan frantically protecting me, Subur-chan bickering but cooperating, Noah-chan inviting me here? And that smile then, when I shook hands with Nobia-san and we became friends? It was all engineered? So that they could be chosen to destroy humanity and spare only us? Is that really why I met everyone? Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous! Everything was all engineered? I can't accept that! Period! I understand how you feel. However, the will of the cosmos is absolute. Defiance is not permitted. Doesn't matter to me. I don't like it. Wiping out humanity and just to say so? Or all the memories of laughs and tears just being explained away? Perhaps you should resign yourself. You often say it can't be helped. By those words, you exaggerate that you resign yourselves to everything and abide by the way things must be. So, resign yourself now. Say it can't be helped. As usual. Maybe it is like that normally, but I can think of a thing or two. There are some things you can never give in on. Foolish. Such ego is what has brought ruin. However you may struggle, it is hopeless, for the cogwheels of fate have already begun to turn. A slender white fish-like hand pointed off into the far distance, toward a small silhouette. The time will soon be ripe. We must fast complete the tower. A lone girl gazed up at the sky, swirling with ominous ambience. As blood-red demon lord Manto flaps, her silver hair flows in the wind. My friend looks normal from behind. I draw near and stop next to her. Noachan, you're awake! Hi. You surprised me, suddenly collapsing and all. I apologize for the trouble. That light? What was it? A sliver of knowledge of what manner of creatures are demon lords and what they have done. All was revealed to me. Oh. So, what are you going to do? I should want to follow in the steps trod by past demon lords and opt for starvation in true Belzebuth fashion. But I think I shall end it quickly with flames as some small mercy. How ironic. At the time of judgment, tis the strongest in the demon realm who is chosen as envoy of destruction. I lost to a human, to thee, Corona, and so wished to gain greater power. Singed by thy strength, drew closer. Even now, as friend, I feel shame and remorse at losing to Corona's Sakura. Yet the redolt did spur me on. I am chosen by the weaving hand of fate. My thanks. Having met you will let me leave my mark on history as a demon lord, as an agent of these cosmos. I expect no aid from thee, human. What I miss, Leviathan will bury. 
So watch quietly and interfere not. Until I have burnt away the land. Burn away? You'll burn everything up? Even my dad and mom and home and town where you and I live together? I. That's not right! No, Chen, you weren't like that! A little violent and pushy, maybe, but you're a caring ruler who thinks about everyone's happiness. You like everyone. Humans, demons, fairies, nature, too. Now, well, Chen, you really care. Come on, there's got to be another way. Let's put our heads together, then... My ancestors might have been the two most beauteous angels in the heavens. Yet, we're cast into this realm, fated to live as hideous demons, so burdened for defying the will of the cosmos. The will of the cosmos is absolute. Were I to defy it once more, surely my punishment would be yet more severe. And yet, wouldst have me defy it? Wouldst thou... Sorry, I hadn't considered that. Fine, then. You won't have to disobey. The punishment? I'll accept it. What? If I force you to stop here and now, that makes it all my fault. Fool. That means to say it would stop me? Stop the will of the cosmos? Fascinating. And has such resolve? Show me thy metal. And I think this is a good time to stop for now. We're about to have a battle. We fought Noel before, but this time is very different. This has been Aerith Allen playing Magical Bringer Corona the movie. Come back next time for a much more intense battle than the one back in the prologue. I hope to see you then.